In 2012, Paul Ledoux was projected by scouting services to go undrafted. The 20-year-old wasn't ranked in the top 210 North American skaters. But the LA Kings saw star potential in the young defenseman. I remember I had a, had a sit-down meeting kind of halfway through the season, and uh, it kind of shocked me a little bit. You know, I was an older player, so I uh, didn't really know if they were looking at me or in, you know, any team was looking at me. I remember meeting him for the first time and spending some quality time with Paul on a kind of one-on-one -on -one basis and just seeing the burn that this kid had and, the, and you can see it transfers into the way he is on the ice. The Kings drafted Ledoux in the sixth round that year. To get drafted by them, you know, I was uh, a little surprised by it, but uh, it was awesome. It kind of helped motivate me knowing that there is a shot out there. Paul spent the next three seasons at the University of North Dakota, developing into a shutdown defender. Ledoux scores! lets it go, and he scores! And in 2016, helped the Fighting Hawks win a national championship. You could see a player that was aware and capable of being in all situations player. You know, he could be a top six for sure, and depending on his where he's going to go and, and grow, possibly a top four. He's just an athlete, and he's a great student, and he's a great competitor. And when you throw all those things together, you got yourself a real special package. Just as Ledoux was ready to jump to the pro game, his exclusive rights to the Kings were about to expire. L.A. needed to recruit Ledoux to sign him or he would become a free agent, able to sign with any team. He reviews his options, he looks around as he can. There's other places that will you know, guarantee spots in the NHL roster, et cetera, or, you know, maybe present an opportunity that you might not be able to back up. So we were incredibly honest about where we felt he fit on our depth chart. You know, I had a lot of respect for them for what they did for me in the draft and throughout the summers and, you know, just working, helped me out uh, during the years of college. So just felt right to come here and I uh, wanted to finish working on with these guys and uh, hopefully they can turn me into the player that uh, I want to be. Ledoux re-signed with the Kings and began his pro career with the Ontario Reign. It didn't take long for Ledoux to make an impression on the King's development staff. He's a very good student. He listens. He's very diligent. He loves the game of hockey. You can tell he likes to come to the rink. He's been a very, very easy student because he is open-minded, willing to listen, willing to try, which is difficult at times for some of these young players. This kid, I've, I've never seen anything like it. To have a kid that is such a sponge for what we were offering and what our development team was pushing, he took it almost on a level of competitiveness. You can't put words on how incredibly warrior-like it was to watch him compete, not only on the ice, but in every last rep. Chip, chip. He wants to be the best player. You get that feeling when you see him in a practice or in a game that he is, is a competitor, that each and every shift that he wants to beat the other guy in front of him. Yeah, Henry, you got me! Ledoux's drive to make the NHL club is undeniable. They have a goal, and they don't let anything stand in the way of that goal. They want to be the best they can be. We can draft kids that are great players with great potential, but if they're great students, meaning they want to buy into everything we have to offer, it gives themselves that much better a chance to get to the ultimate goal, which is to play for the National Hockey League team with the Kings. Watch back, watch back door. Jimmy, pop, pop. No way. It's something I've been working for, you know, my whole life. That's why we play the game, is to eventually make it to the big show. I can't even put into words how uh, excited I would be to uh, get the chance to play up there.
34-year-old defenseman uh, Paul Adu is going to make his NHL debut in this game tonight, former of the University of North Dakota. On February 7th, Ledoux gets the call. He will make his NHL debut against the Tampa Bay Lightning in the same building where he won a national championship. Paul Ledoux making his first NHL appearance tonight. It's his first NHL hockey game, and how ironic that his first National Hockey League game comes in a place where he won a national championship. You know, when you take the next step, you got to try to simplify your game even more, and uh, there's a lot of good uh, skilled forwards out there, so it's it's a lot about defensive positioning and just being in the right place at the right time. While the rookie has much to learn, the Kings know Ledoux can be a critical new piece on their young blue line. It's going to help anyone when you uh, start playing more and uh, are involved more with the team. So there's still work to do and can still get better each and every day. I don't know if there is a ceiling with Paul just because of his abilities. The patience, the, the awareness, the you know, slowing a game down versus speeding it up. He has those intangibles of playing at the NHL level. Dean always talks about the boxes. You want to get that right fit. And I think now there's enough in-house choices along with the established veterans that we have that the ability to fill our own boxes, the ability in the long term to fill those boxes properly and have a good balance on the back end is there for us. And that's, that's going to be huge for not just this year, but years to come.